overwhelmed. It's small. It's clean. I was doing so good <laughs> until I saw that. Yeah, I'm glad I did because I'm in a way better headspace. I literally think that was a booger and not a bug. Hey guys, not your usual intro. I'm actually almost to my school. Um, today is Monday, May 18th, and I have to start cleaning out my classroom. So, there's a good chance that I'm going to get emotional as soon as I walk in. It's almost 2 o'clock. I've been stalling all day because I just didn't want to do this. I didn't want to face it. So, this is probably going to take me a couple days. Today is more so like a trial run. I didn't even wear makeup today because the tears. I don't, what's the point of wearing makeup if you're just going to cry it off? Just pulled up. There's actually quite a few people here. I don't know if that's better or worse. Um, it's good because it'll keep me away from my emotions, but at the same time, because there's a lot of people here, I can't just like feel, even though like we're social distancing, like everyone's in their own room. No one's going to be around each other. We even joked about putting bells on each other's necks so we could hear each other coming from down the hall. But it's just for me, like I need to be in like complete isolation in order to let my emotions go. So we'll see. Let's go inside. All right, toughen up, Chica. It is not the end of the world. I will hunt my kids down next year at a different school. Okay. To be honest, I'm not really sure where exactly I want to start, but I already decided I'm not going to touch the kids' desk today. That's just gonna be a whole roller coaster of emotion that I just don't feel like dealing with today. Um, personally, there's just like too many people here, I feel like. Okay, so what I am going to do, and this is like a totally other kind of depressing thing, um, I'm going to tear down all the paper. One, because the walls are going to get disinfected. Uh, apparently, we can leave it up, but I want to change. I want to I switch it up. I remember towards the close of last year, I was getting kind of tired of the color scheme. It felt a little dark. I'm going to follow that and still switch it. And plus, I know that it will feel really good setting up my classroom for next year because it's like preparing for a new beginning. And this is part of that process too. It is just still in the trenches of it. I don't know if I want to tear down that wall. I remember it being a total pain in the behind putting it up. I don't know, maybe I'll keep the blue because that was a difficult part and I'll switch the black out. Just get rid of the black. I did black last year uh, with neon and it just still wasn't bright enough as I'm wearing all black. <laughs> I'm gonna tear down these walls and my cactus over there. Okay, let's do it. Since I have a big old trash bag, I'm going to go through their mailboxes and just the stuff that is actually trash I'm gonna throw away. The stuff that's more meaningful that I really want them to have, don't worry, I will definitely put them in their baggies. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna read my kids stuff. I did. It was literally our last day here and we did things that are worth more than gold. And so they made a little like rainbow this are the things that were worth more than gold on the top. And on the back, they said, why? And this kid said, he switched it backwards. He said, something that is more valuable than diamonds is Miss Blair. This is because I don't need money because Miss Blair is teaching me so I can be a doctor and get money. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to mess with my kids' work, but I went through their mailboxes. It wasn't that bad. So I'm just going to put this in their mailboxes so I can go ahead and take down this wall.
So this is my desk. I wrote that the first day of school. <laughs> I had such a rough two years, my first two years, and, and then when I moved schools and moved grades, it was like my first day of school, I just knew this was going to be a good year. And I was right, it was a good year up until all this stuff, but this year was the best that I've felt in a classroom. I think that's why for me this year was really hard, to, to lose times with these kids. The first time that I really felt like I, like, that I belonged and was really making a difference and teaching and just exactly where I was meant to be. I was doing so good <laughs> until I saw that. Well, there's bound to be some tears today. <laughs> All right, well, I still have to tear on this wall. And yeah, I'm glad I wrote it still. Okay, so not much, but I did something, got these walls down, and took down that big wall, and I'm done for today. So I grabbed my first set of packets that I need to go over with some gloves. So I'm gonna head out for today, and I'll be back tomorrow. Hello, I'm back in my classroom, but it's been a week since I was last here. Today is Monday, May 25th, happy Memorial Day. After I left school last week, I pretty much just like shut it down. <laughs> I didn't really get on social media, like Instagram or YouTube or anything like that. I didn't come back here. I just kind of took it as a time for me to just deal with whatever it is that I had to deal with. And I'm glad I did because I'm in a way better headspace. I came in today and I'm feeling good. I don't feel depressed yet, which is a good sign. And yeah, but my kiddo stuff has to be cleared out by May 28th. The parents are coming up to pick up their personal belongings, so I'm going to be putting everything in those black baggies right there. Yeah, so since that's what has to be done the soonest, and I'm feeling good today, I'm feeling mentally prepared, I feel like we can do this. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So let's get to it. Just kidding, these bags are not the bags for my kiddos. They are the offices, I guess. I think they're storing some stuff in my room. These are computers. I don't know who they're for, but it doesn't matter. All I know is they're not the bags for my kids. So I actually have to run to the grocery store and buy 27 bags. Let's go. Okay, so went to Albertsons and they gave me 30 bags and two boxes. These boxes will help me clean up my library. And then these bags can be for my kiddos. Bags are just about done. I have to wait until tomorrow, whenever people are actually back, because today's technically a holiday. Um, but to move that stuff, because I don't want to move it, because that's like the office's stuff, and I don't want to mess up the organization or put it, uh, I don't want to mess it up. So I probably still have about six desks left, but for the most part, they are done, and that did not take as long as I thought. So in the bags, there's personal belongings, their workbooks, their journal, their homework folder, all that good stuff. So that was my main thing I wanted to do today. Um, now, so now I'm just going to clear all the whiteboard space, put it all in a drawer that way it's ready to go for next year.
Okay, I think I'm done for today. I put most of my kids' stuff in their bag, cleaned my desk, that's probably the cleanest my desk has ever looked, and then cleaned off my whiteboards. All right, so next time I come in, I will be probably dizzy from that, sorry. So next time I come in, I will do those six desks. I will take that board down and organize all of this chaos. <laughs>so we're back for day three of classroom cleanup as you can see i cleared these desks moved everything to the office so now i have to put these kids stuff in baggies then i actually put a couple additional things i want to put in their bags like pictures from that kindness wall that we made their brag tags i'm going to make classroom awards to put in their bags as well but i'll have to make the awards tonight to put them into their bags tomorrow because tomorrow is when the kids parents are going to be coming to pick up their stuff so then all these bags will be gone so, so i'm going to go ahead and put their stuff in the baggies off that list the desks are done but now the rest of my room is opened up to what do I need to accomplish next and there's so much that needs to be done so here comes the anxiety because I don't know what to do next and there's so much I have to put all those books somewhere away and they're not gonna fit in those cabinets let me tell you this needs to be all cleared okay let's I'm gonna do something with this side of the room let's just see what happens I have to stop with this corner and this side of the room because this is all purely organization. Now that I open that cabinet, I see that there's even more papers. The teacher that was here before me last year left a ton of stuff. And it's like cool because they're really cool activities and like reading passages and stuff like that. But at the same time, I almost wish they sucked. That way I could just throw everything away. But I want to actually go through them and organize them into my file cabinet, which is already pretty full. Like I. I need to ask for a new file cabinet, I need two. But yeah, so this is going to be organization. This is not a necessity. So I'm going to move <laughs> to this side of the room and take down that wall, which means I'm gonna have to move that computer card somewhere. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I literally think that was a booger and not a bug. A kid walked by and put a booger on my wall. Kids, man. This wall is clean. <laughs> Back to not knowing what to do. Maybe I'll feel better once all the kids' stuff is off their desks, because right now it just looks like a lot of stuff is going on. Okay, I'm gonna put this stuff away. Then I like to make some sort of note of which board this was on, that way I know these borders fit perfect.
This is literally the first time I've checked my box since <laughs> being back at school the last week or two. My kids actually turned in their books. I let each of them take one or two books and I actually got more back than I expected. <laughs> oh, I hope they read them. Good morning guys, it is Thursday, May 28th. And today my kiddos are coming to pick up their personal belongings. Kids aren't really supposed to be coming, their parents are, but we'll see what happens. So I have all their stuff in bags, but I have some last minute stuff I need to pass out, like awards and my flat teacher. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass those out real quick and then parents should be here by eight, between eight and 12. So we're gonna have a busy day. Eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde. Okay, and then the last thing that I stapled onto their bags was our summer send off. So we're gonna be, all the teachers are gonna be parking their cars while the kids can drive by and say goodbye. Just be a good little end of the year memory for them. And yeah. Okay, so parents should be here in like two minutes. So I gotta set up my back door. This is where they're going to be coming in to be getting their stuff. The parents are gonna come, they're gonna come grab their bag and then give it to them. I can't record that because privacy reasons, but the next time you see my classroom, all these bags will be gone. All right, so I only have three bags left. I'm making phone calls to try and get them here to get their things. So those are the big things from this classroom teardown. I still have to take all those books out of the bookshelves, but that's gonna be for another time. So I'm gonna end this video here. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. Bye guys.